Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Veronica. How are you? Okay, good evening, everybody. <clears throat> How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? Let me see. The attendance list. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. So your attendance. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you, my friend? I have Veronica, Luz, Damaris, Carlos Arturo, Jensi, Roxana, Catherine. Edith, Sandra Margarita, Mauricio Alberto, Lenin, Lenin Monterrosa. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start today the class and uh, we're gonna uh, review a little bit the simple past tense. But before doing so, I'm going to take your attendance list. I guess that is here. Your attendance. This one. This is from eight to nine. Let me see eight. Today is the 26th, right? So the first one is Araceli Esmeralda. Araceli, not yet. Eh, Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, Consuelo del Rosario. Present. Okay, Consuelo. Next one, Christian Daniel. 
Christian. Eh, Damaris Leticia. Present. Thank you, Tamaris. Edith Lorena. Present. Yeah, yeah. Very good. And Fatima Yesenia Araujo. Present. Thank you, Fatima. Fernando de Jesús Morales. Hey. Oh, present teacher. Thank you. Fernando, right? Fernando. Ibis Arely. Ibis. Ibis. Let me see. No yet. And Joaquín de Jesús Galán. Teacher, buenas noches. Fíjate que voy en la calle. No sé si se me escucha. Yes. Your name? What's your name? Joaquín. Fernando Moral. Fernando. Ajá. Fernando de Jesús. Morales. Sí. Okay, yes. Okay, very good. So the next one, Joaquín de Jesús Galán. Jorge Eric Ramírez. Jorge. Juan Antonio Villatoro Torres. Present. Okay, very good. Carla Susana Galeas. Catherine Rebeca Rosales. Present, teacher. Okay, Catherine. Lenin Monterrosa Delgado. Lenin. No. Luz Margel García. Present. María de los Ángeles Jiménez. Present, teacher. Ok. Mauricio Alberto Jiménez. Present, miss. Thank you. Eh, Miguel Antonio Ábrego. Naomi Nicole Deras Asensio. Oscar Estagú Mesa. Roxana Guadalupe Duarte. Present. Sandra Margarita Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Verónica Maricela. Present teacher. Okay, Verónica. And Jensi Alexandra. Jensi. Present. No. Okay, very good, Jensi. Okay. Ibis acaba de poner present. Ibis, Ibis, let me see, Ibis. Ibis Arely Torres. Guzmán. Sí. Okay, thank you. Gracias, compañero. Thank you, my friend. Good night, yes, it says, hello, teacher, good night. Okay, you're here. Okay, very good. Okay. <clears throat> So today is the last class. Today we're gonna finish this uh, module and uh, we're gonna have a review about the simple past tense, the topic that we have been studying previously. So for good doing evening, so, teacher. hello, good evening, Christian. Christian Daniel, right? Yes. Christian, let me see. Christian Daniel, okay. Okay, I'm going to share with you this the first exercise that we are going to work. <clears throat> so the first activity is a video related about the simple past tense. Okay, I just want you to please listen, pay attention. Thank you. 
The most common question words in English are who, where, when, why, what, which, how. Let's look at the difference. Who? Who is calling? Who will reach the phone first? Who is only used to refer to a person or people. It means I want to know the person. Some examples. Who is the best football player in the world? It means I want to know the person. Who are those people over there? Who is that man behind the mask? Where? Where should I go? Where is used to refer to a place or a location. It means I want to know the place. Where is the library? Where do you live? Where can I buy lunch near here? When? When can I go on vacation? When is used to refer to a time or an occasion. It means I want to know the time. When does the store open? When is your birthday? When are we going to finish? Why? Why are you angry? Why is used to obtain an explanation or a reason. It means I want to know the reason. Why is the window open? Why are they always late? Why do you want to learn English? Normally the response begins with because. Why is the window open? Because it is hot inside. What? What is making that sound? What is used to refer to specific information about something? It means I want to know the thing. What is your surname? What are you doing? What do you want for dinner? Which? Which dish should I choose? Which is used for a choice. It means I want to know the thing you choose between the alternatives. Which dish did you order? The pizza or the lasagna? Which day should we go? Monday or Friday? Which is better? This one or that one? How? How do I stop the baby from crying? How is used for a description of something or the way something is done. It means I want to know the way or form. How do you go to school? This means I want to know the way you go to school. How can I learn English quickly? How do you feel today? Here I want a description of how you are right now or how you feel. 
how can also be used in other ways. How often refers to frequency. How often do you have classes? This means I want to know the frequency you have classes. How often does she study? See our video about how often and responding these types of questions using adverbs of frequency. How old refers to the age of a person or something. How old are you? How old is the building? How far refers to distance. How far is your house from here? This is like saying, what is the distance from here to your house? How far do we need to go? How many refers to the quantity or number of something. How many is only used with countable nouns. How many people live in your city? How many days are there in July? How much refers to a quantity or a price. How much is used with uncountable nouns. How much time do we need? How much does this shirt cost? Here we use how much because we are referring to how much money and the word money is an uncountable noun. See our video that has more information about the difference between how much and how many. It's now time to practice. Answer these questions in the comment section. Who is your favorite actor or actress? Where do you live? When is the national day of your country? Why do you want to learn English? What do you do in your free time? Which do you prefer, chocolate or pizza? How do you celebrate your birthday? I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, my friends. So I'm going to share this link with you because I think that it's really um, interesting and that you can practice it by yourself or you can listen it when you have time you can listen to practice to remember to review okay and now we are going to continue with an exercise that i have here this exercise is related to the previous video WH questions we did. And it starts here. It's a simple past questions. We are going to fill in the gaps here and choose the correct form of the verse in, in brackets. These ones. For example, <clears throat> what could be the question here? The question in the simple past? What's the question did. there? Yes, did. did. Mm -hmm. Did, did you buy it? Buy it. Buy. Buy. Yes, because you are using did. So the verb has no modification. So number two. Mm -hmm. If it is a question in the simple past, you always need did. Did. Did with I, you, we, they, he, she, it, did for everything, for all the pronouns. So, did Roy? Right. Right, right. So, the verb has no modification because we are using did. So, and we continue working in that way here. And then, we're gonna make questions 
from the underlying words. For example, Candy was in the park yesterday. Here. Where was Candy yesterday? Candy was in the park. So you have to write the question here. Another example. Peter went to London last month. So the question must be related to this. When did Peter go to London? Peter went to London last month. Yes? No. I did my homework last night. What did you do last night? I did my homework. That is going to be the question. And you have seven questions. And when you finish, you click here and share the answers uh, in the Zoom chat. Okay, I'm gonna share with you this link so that we can practice the exercise in the groups. This is gonna be a group work activity. And this is the exercise. Okay, there you are the link to practice that and I'm going to organize the groups. Let me see. We are 23. You see? Okay. So please, let's get into the group and start completing the exercise. Go ahead. Oscar, Maria, Mauricio, Lenin, Miguel. Let's get into the groups, please. Eh, ¿Me escucha, teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes, Oscar. Sí, sí, estoy tratando de poder este, entrar en lo que es este, eh, el link que usted puso del ejercicio. Ahorita mm -hmm. está cayendo, está algo lento, pero creo que ya es de comenzarlo a hacer, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Cuando lo descargue, you can start. Okay. Okay, let's go. Consuelo, I'm going to send you to the room number three. Go to the room number three, Consuelo, please. Mejor cada quien. Ah. Vaya, ¿sí? Hola. Hello. Hello. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, who's going to share the, the screen then? The worksheet. Eh, aquí dice quién va a compartir la, la worksheet para trabajar la PIX. Buenas noches, Yo acabo de incorporar, no sé qué están haciendo. Carla Susana. Sí. Carla, we are completing a worksheet. You have the worksheet in the chat. El chat, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna start with you here in the, in the, in the chat. And Carla Susena, I'm going to send you to the room number five. Carla Susena, number five. Ay, permite. Que no me carga. Ahí sería el lead, siempre. 
Yes, my friend, he's with you. Did where did where did? Siempre sería el did, verdad? Uh huh. Yes, because you have this the verb in parentheses that is swim, so you are using did. Uh huh. Así vamos bien. Mm, let me see. Did you? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Did you write did? Uh huh. Yes, very good. Okay. Thank you. Entonces, compañera. Entonces, siempre iría el did y el paréntesis no eh, Lo que va en paréntesis no cambiaría entonces. Exacto, ajá. Pues, así sería word. Ah, aquí a cambia. Aquí sería. ¿Cuál sería de las tres? Did drink o drink. No sé si lo puede bajar un poquito. Sí, 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 sí. Ahí. Sí, sí, yo creería que aquí va Did. Did. Y ahí a word normal. Did you grammar? Did you... Work in a bank, in a bank when, when she was, was young. Uh -huh. Tu abuela trabajó en un banco cuando ella era, era joven. Uh -huh, exacto. Uh -huh. Su and team. Su and team. And teach. Teach, teach you. How to make, how to the, make cake. the cake. ¿Cuándo fueron a, a tomar un, un, un cake? No, aquí sería... Eh, si su el team le enseñaron a, a él, a esta persona, a hacer un pastel. ¿O cuándo hicieron un pastel? Sí, how make. to make the cake. Esa de abajo creo que es drunk. Porque no hay espacio. ¿no? Drunk en pasado. Drunk. Hay un solo. How drunk a lot. Pero... Es que aquí está una de deep drink of juice from a break. How deep. ¿Qué quiere decir? Pasemos a la de where sería el mismo. Esta. Ajá, y dice he went. Pero no está, bueno, no sé, no sé si no van con, o sea, el correlativo, porque este y este es, bueno, ver. Do you need my help, my friends, here? Yes, teacher, please. Ah, okay, okay. So, just to scroll up a little bit. Scroll up. Okay. 
Uh -huh. yeah, that's it. Ok. Aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es la pregunta que va en la parte de what, where, when, que son las WH questions. WH questions son preguntas que requieren información. Se diga qué es lo que ha pasado. Bye. Por ejemplo, en, en, en la número uno, empieza con what. Y la pregunta tiene que referirse a lo que está en verdecito. Como el ejemplo de Candy. Candy was in the park yesterday. Entonces, si Candy estuvo en el park yesterday, what's the question? Es dónde, right? Where was Candy yesterday? ¿Dónde estuvo Candy yesterday? Estuvo en el parque. Entonces, la pregunta que hay aquí va referido a lo que está en verdecito de la oración. En el siguiente ejemplo, says, Peter went to London last month. Entonces, la pregunta es, ¿cuándo? Porque este es last month. Se refiere a tiempo. When did Peter, en este caso es go, porque tiene did. Aquí es went porque es una oración positiva. Entonces, when did Peter go to London? ¿Cuándo fue Peter a London? Él fue a London el mes pasado. ¿Cuándo fue? Y aquí la respuesta, él fue a London last month. So, when you are asking a question, you need did and the verb go with no modification. For questions and for positive statement, the verb is in the past. Yes? So, number one. I did my homework last night. Si quieres, comparto yo para, para escribir la respuesta del uno, para mientras. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. ¿Dejas de compartir un ratito? Sí. Listo. Sí. Bueno, entonces, ahorita voy a compartir yo esta. ¿Dónde tengo? Pero esto la voy a buscar donde es que la tengo. Listo. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. So, entonces la pregunta es la oración positiva en este caso es I did my homework last night. Entonces la pregunta tiene que ir refer en referencia a my homework. Y como tengo el verbo did, entonces empiezo. Did who? What did you do last night? What did you do last night? ¿Qué hiciste la noche anterior? Mm -hmm. I did my homework last night. Veamos la proxy. He went to the cinema yesterday. Tenemos el verbo went. Entonces necesito mi pregunta con un did. Quiero ver si. Uh -huh. Did. ¿Quién es la persona que está involucrada? Did he. ¿Cuál es la acción? Did he. La acción de action is went. When. Pero uh -huh. como estoy usando did en la question, el verbo no me va a cambiar. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go yesterday? Para ser más específico, right? Where did he go yesterday? ¿Dónde fue ayer? He went to the cinema yesterday. Él, él fue al cinema ayer. ¿Sí? Ahora veamos una que no lleve. Quiero ver si hay una que no lleve. No, todas llevan, todas llevan el verbo. My sister phone. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si fuera, todas llevan un verbo que requiere el did para la pregunta. Por ejemplo, la número tres tiene fond. Aquí, went. Aquí, had. Number six, painted. And number seven, 
ate. No hay ninguna similar a esta. Por ejemplo, candy was, was is the past of to be. Entonces, cuando haces la pregunta, aquí no necesitas did. Porque ya el verbo to be por sí solo, solo lo cambias de posición y ya te hace la pregunta. The positive candy was in the park yesterday. The question, where was candy yesterday? ¿Dónde estuvo candy ayer? Candy estuvo en el parque ayer. ¿Sí? Pueden ver la diferencia cuando hacemos las preguntas con was, where. O con did. Sí. No. Hello, hello. El, el, el was. O sea, no, no es que sea como. O sea, siempre, siempre hay una información extra. Nunca. O sea, cuando se ocupa was y, y cuando se ocupa did. O sea, es que el verbo, el verbo to be. No neces el verbo to be en este caso es was. ¿Te acuerdas cuál es el verbo to be en present? Sí, sería eh, he, she. Mm -hmm. M is are. Uh -huh. In past es was o were. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a identificar? Dice usted. Vaya. Si aquí, aquí miras un was. Y no hay otro. Aquí no hay otro verbo. Ahí está un nombre propio. Este es el to be. Este es un lugar que no es verbo. Y esta es una, una, una acción de tiempo, yesterday. Entonces, identificas que si está was or were, ese es el verbo. Ya no necesita did. Aquí sí necesita did. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene un verbo diferente de was y were. Con was y were, yo no uso did for the questions. Solo muevo el verbo al principio, aquí. Después de WH question. Mm -hmm. Aquí, en Peter, went, si tengo el went, si tengo que hacer la question with did. ¿Sí? Porque tengo el went. Okay. Ahora, cuando lo hago acá, tengo que poner, cuando lo hago acá, tengo que poner el verbo en presente, go. Porque el did hace, la vez, hace que la oración se convierta en pasado. Entonces, ya no necesito cambiar el verbo al pasado. Todas las demás como tienen un verbo distinto de was y were, por ejemplo, did, went, found, went, had, painted, and ate, todos son verbos distintos de was y were, por lo tanto, en todas va a usar did. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Dejo de compartir para que continúen ustedes. Ah, yes. 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 Did your grandma? Did? My friends, hello, hello. I have a question okay. for you. Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué estamos usando is in the number four? Um. La type es is o it, entonces nos hemos equivocado ahí. No, 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 es que no, no es. Yo solo quiero saber cómo lo interpretan ustedes para que, para que determinen que es is para ayudarles. O sea, no, no, no es, no, no, no. es, eso es el enfoque, ¿me entiendes? Ajá, uh -huh. ya. Uh -huh, dime. ¿Qué tiempo? No, the time is, is it, es lo que es la palabra que es. Ah, uh -huh. es correcto, es correcto. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, bye. Tenemos Entonces, que poner la T, ¿o no? No, 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 no se preocupe. Ahorita les, Ajá, explico. Okay. Ahorita les explico la número cuatro. Vaya, aquí lo primero que estamos viendo son simple past questions. Y questions uh -huh. con WH questions. En okay. what time, what time puede ser... Una pregunta con cualquier verbo. 
Por ejemplo, what time is the party? What time is the celebration? What time uh -huh. is the class? Sí, es, uh -huh. correcto. es correcto. Pero en la número cuatro, me están dando entre paréntesis un verbo que es get. Entonces, uh -huh. si yo tengo un verbo get y estamos hablando del pasado simple, quiere decir que yo necesito un auxiliar para hacer la pregunta. En el caso es did, como lo venían haciendo. What time did? What, What time, time is? did? Did. Ah, entonces, sí. Vale, yeah. Ahora explíqueme por qué estamos usando did. Uh, uh -huh. por, porque es el pasado simple de... Uh -huh. de está, preguntado, está preguntando de qué tiempo va... Eh, Ir es get, ¿verdad? O estar, get, get up. Yes, get up. Yes, Renee. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, aquí lo que hay que definir primero que estamos hablando de simple past. Si, es, si uh -huh. es simple past y estamos viendo que tenemos un montón de verbos como el buy, write, swing, get, work, teach, and drink. Entonces, para todas indiscutiblemente vamos a necesitar el auxiliar did. Para did. todos. Uh -huh. El, el did se usa para todos los nombres, para he, she, it, etc. Todos los que existen. Y el verbo uh -huh. que le da la opción de escoger, por ejemplo, work, usted lo va a poder igual, así como ha hecho aquí, en la number one. Did uh -huh. you buy? Did Roy write? Where did Lucy swim? The verb doesn't change because you are using did. ¿Sí? No necesita uh -huh. cambiar el verbo porque ya did ya le hace la pregunta en pasado. Entonces el verbo uh -huh. no cambia, no cambia. Así que uh -huh. lo primero que hay que determinar, si está usando un verbo, se usa did. Ok. Ok. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, teacher. Se está equivocada también. Watching and did they
Ahorita creo que. Bueno, ahorita acá entra. Uh -huh. Hola, teacher. No, no, no. Ahí, ¿por qué no miro? No alcanzo a ver. Todas nos salieron malas, teacher, de abajo. <ríe> no las ah, pudimos. Veamos, ver. veamos, pero veamos, veamos. Did... No era... no, okay. Ah, ya sé. What did... Ajá. What did... Vaya. For example, in the number one, ahí le falta el verbo, la acción. Ha um, puesto did, pero did, es, did me dice que todo eso es una pregunta. Pero ¿cuál es la acción de esa pregunta? ¿Ir? La acción tiene que ser, la acción tiene que ser porque dice, I did my homework. Entonces, la acción de la oración 1 es did. Entonces, what did, la pregunta tiene que ser, what did he do yesterday or last night? What did he do last night? What did he do last night? Uh -huh. Pero aquí ya no pueden modificar, Batecha. Teacher. Hello, hello. Parece que hello. Me, me estaba en una sala y me mandó, me salí sin querer. Pero no sé en cuál okay. está. Ya uh -huh. que le pedimos ayuda, fue. Ah, ok. Le pedimos ayuda uh -huh. en las cinco, no sé, no sé okay. cómo vamos acá. Number five, my brother has three exam on Tuesday. Ajá, está fácil. My brother has three exams on Tuesday. How many, uh -huh. how many exams, how many exams, how many exams, how many exams did Did, okay. Did. Your brother how? How? Mm -hmm. how uh -huh. ¿Cuántos exámenes tuvo tu hermano? My brother okay. had three exams on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, no ocupamos poner el día Tuesday. How many exams did your brother have on Tuesday? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. We're going to wait for the rest to return to the principal room. no hay eso presto solo hay una vea pero es que no hay ah, no, ok no sé lo ok let me see Okay, I guess that for you was a little bit difficult, the previous exercise. So we're going to work together in some of the questions. Let me see the questions are, yes. We're going to work that part because that was kind of hard for you.
Okay, this section. Just give me a second. Okay, here says in this in this part, in the first part, it says simple past questions. If they mention, okay, pay attention, okay? Listen carefully. If we are talking about simple past, we're gonna need did for the questions. In the case you have the verse, for example, buy, write, swing, get, work, teach, drink, etc. Okay. In those cases, we will need the auxiliary did. Teach it is did. Teach and did is telling me that this is a question in the simple past. If I identify a verb here and an expression that is telling me that this is in the past, yesterday, last winter, last summer, yesterday, when she was young, these expressions are telling me that the sentence or the questions are in the past. So we need did endeavor in the simple form. It doesn't need to be modified. Did you buy? Did Brooks? Did Roy? Right. Where did Lucy? Here. Swim. Aha. Uh -huh. Now the question here. What time? Mm -hmm. Did what this time? Did, 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 did Tom? Get yes. Get yes. You don't, no. have, don't modify the verb because this is giving you the permission to use the verb in the base form with no modification. Question okay. number five. Did your grandma your grandma work? Work. work very work. good. Work. Number six. Did did swim? Did 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 you how to make the cake? Who? Who? Porque drunk, si dijimos que for the simple pass you need deal. Uh -huh. And it's a question. Ah, es era una trampita, mira. Es era una trampita. Yes. Who did drink a lot did of juice for breakfast? Sí. Entonces, si tiene un verbo, y estamos hablando del simple past, for the question, you need did. Yes. Pero nosotros pusimos esa y no salió mala. Sí, teacher, es cierto. Sí, salió mala todo. No salió mala. Oh, really? Well, who, I'm going to check. I'm going to check. Who drinks? Sí, con el gin right. In the case, vamos a probar. What time is it? Let's try like this. Who drank a lot of juice for breakfast? Vamos a probar. Okay. So, number one, in this case, what's the question? So we work this together in, in previously. I did my homework last night. So, did you do? Did you do what? Okay. Did you do? Last homework. night. Last night. night. Your homework. Did you do your did homework? You do your homework? Last night. Last night. Um, or, or can be what did you do? What did you do? What did you do last night? Okay. I did my homework last night. 
Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. They did this last night. I did my homework last night. He went to the cinema yesterday. Where did he go yesterday? Don't the fire here. He went to the cinema. Number three. When, and because we are using the verb phone, so we use this. Algunas me les salió malo porque pusimos el did aquí, el with, with capital. Ah. Como ya está la capital aquí, ya no lo ah. podíamos usar aquí. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, sí, eso tiene mucho que ver en este programa. Ok, so, when did who? When did who? Who the person? When did? Oh. Ajá. She, your sister. Your sister. Your sister. Call you. When did your sister call on you? Last Friday. When did your sister phone you? My sister phoned me last Friday. Aquí, in the question, no le ponemos last Friday porque esa respuesta me la van a dar hasta acá. ¿Cuánto llamaste a tu hermana? ¿Cuándo te llamó tu hermana, más bien dicho? ¿Cuándo te llamó tu hermana? My sister me llamó. When did your sister phone you? Ajá. When did your sister phone you? Te llamó. Phone you. Who? Who salió? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Here, Sally. No, no, Sally, Sally, Sally. 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 How many did your brother exam? Ah, how, how many, many exams? exams? ¿Cuántos exámenes? How many exams? How? Mm. Did how? Ah, did who? How? Did how? Did brother brother? Did how? 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 How On many is this your brother? On Tuesday. How? On Thursday. How many exam did your brother have on yeah, Tuesday? On Tuesday, slow it. How many exams did your brother have on Tuesday? My brother had three exams on Tuesday. Yes? Mm hmm. So, who, number six, who did who the parents did who? Did who? Gabriel. 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 Who did Gabriel? Who did Gabriel? Oh, no, porque esa, esa es la respuesta que me va a dar. Who did Who did Who did the color? Who did find the house? Painting. Painting, uh-huh. Paint. 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 Paint the house. Paint, paint or painted? Paint. 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 Uh -huh. paint. Who did paint the house? Uh -huh. the Who house. did paint the house? Gabriel painted the house of blue color. Who did paint the house of blue color? Of blue color. Uh -huh. Gabriel, Gabriel painted the house of blue color. Number seven. They ate mushroom pizza last night. What kind? They did they? No, what did, kind? Did, ¿Qué did, clase did, de qué? Pizza. What did kind? Eat. What kind of pizza? What kind of pizza? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They eat. The question? What kind of pizza? 
Did they? Did they? Last they night. Eat it. Eat. 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 Last night. Eat. ¿Cuál Last canal night. es el Last night. Eat? Last night. Last night. Last night. Uh -huh. Aquí estaríamos a tener buena suel of no fue. Okay. <laughs> What kind of pizza did did they eat last night? Vamos a ver. No salieron malas. Uh -huh. <laughs> who did Es que los de la de los de who, who deben ir with who painting okay. who 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 es quién? ¿Quién fue la respuesta? nos fue el Sally. Ahí está la cuestión. Y es la true. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por estar respetando el pronombre. Era solo digo uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá. Who did you? Uh -huh. okay. When you are using the who. Teacher, para ver si era el verbo drink o drink. Drunk. 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 Sí. Uh -huh. Es similar to here, right? Uh, Lo mismo. En las otras no salía mal de la otra. Poner... Who, so, who y el verbo. Who went. 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 Okay. Right. Who painted the house? Who painted the house? How many exams did you write? No, but number five is okay. How many Pero exams? como no puso todo el... el... O sea, no, no terminó ah, de poner todo esto. Ah, ajá. Sí, que ajá. por una cosita. Uh -huh. Es que, es que, ajá. How many exams did you do? Sí, ¿Qué usted dijo? Thursday. Muy bien. Ok. Yes, it's, uh -huh. it's A. It's... Ok, my friends, we're going to stop it here. Thank you for your time Thank and you for your care. effort. Continue studying. Okay, teacher. Ok. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure okay. for me, okay? Gracias. Thanks God to bless you. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. I am there in the chat, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Welcome. Goodbye. Bye.